to the churn number of the occupied bands. So this model has been generalized. Kane and Malie combined two time reversal conjugate copies of the model, one for spin up electrons exhibiting a new equals plus one quantum Hall effect, and one for spin down electrons exhibiting a new equals minus one quantum Hall effect. The charge quantum Hall effect cancels leaving a spin Hall effect. This is a fairly uh, straightforward generalization of the model. But what, what was discovered was by, by Kane and Millie that when you add terms to the system that allow spin up states and spin down states to mix, processes that, that flip the spins, uh, the churn number, and in that case, the churn number is no longer a valid construction, but the edge states persisted. You might have expected that this caused a gap to open and destroy the gapless edge states. But as I said, Kane and Millie found that this was not the case. And the edge modes remain protected by what was finally identified as the Kramer's degeneracy of the spin half fermions. So Kane and Millie found a new Z2 invariant, which inherits the parity even or odd of the churn number, even though the churn number itself becomes no longer valid when you make this more general model with, uh, inter, with, 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 with terms that, that, that don't conserve the spins. So they went ahead and did this and they discovered, out of this they discovered the time reversal topological insulators and then the extension from 2 to 3D came and that brings us to the great uh, revolution in, in topological insulator studies these days. So another generalization of, the, of the, the model is to replace the electrons by, by photons. And photons are neutral bosons that cannot exhibit a quantum Hall effect, but it turns out they're still topologically protected unidirectional edge modes when the photonic band has a non-zero churn number. So in fact, the photons traveling in this edge mode in one direction will find their way around an obstacle placed in their path without backscattering. And this has in fact now been verified in at least in microwave uh, studies with uh, uh, with uh, time reversal breaking components in the in the in the photonic uh, crystal structure. So finally, this model shows, in my view, shows the power of a toy model, which is sufficiently uh, simple that the essential physics can be worked out explicitly. And such models really provide an essential link between very deep and abstract mathematical principles such as classification under churn classes or K-theory and practical material science where people are actually trying to make real materials to uh, exhibit these wonderful topological properties. And in my view, the one thing that makes these principles credible and shows the way forward is to always come up with a clean, a clean toy model that really gets to the heart of the matter and shows what's going on. Thank you very much for your attention and good luck with your own toy models.